Gude. So today we are looking at the Brompton folding bike and especially on the tires and the pressure that's needed to run it. If you buy this bike with the optional rack, like here, you also get like the pump. And this is what we are going to test today. One thing that kind of shocked me when I when I picked it up and had a closer look at it is that on the tires is written inflate to 100 psi. So what is 100 psi? It's the pressure you put on the tires. It's like seven bars. Okay, so to put it into perspective, if you inflate the tires of your car, you will need about two bars or 30 psi. The mountain bike runs on two to four bars, which is 30 to 55 psi. The trekking bike, for example, runs on 3.5 bars to 6 bars, this is 50 or 85 psi. And you have to trust me on this, um, the racing bike runs on 100 to 145 psi, 7 to 10 bars. Basically the pressure on these tires are in the league of racing bikes. Since not every household bike pump can go up to 100 psi, I actually want to test if the standard pump that comes with the bike can deliver 100 psi. So here it is. It looks quite good. This is like a metal body, uh, but the top is plastic and this is plastic and this is something. Oh, it does feel a little bit loose, but yeah, we will just test it out. This, the connector is also metal and the valves are car valves. So let's get closer and try it out. Okay, here we are. You'll see it says inflate 200 psi. And for the test, right now they are obviously inflated. And you hear it, they are really, really high inflated. And we take away the Stormtrooper cap. Do, 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 do. And the protective cap. And to deflate it. That should be enough. So that's like having a flat tire and now you have to refill it again. And therefore we put this on here and okay, that's quite good. That's quite secure. And we pump. Right now it's almost no resistance. Okay, let's check it. Therefore I brought this guy. Ooh. Oh, we had 3.5 bars or 50 psi, so a little more to go. Let's continue. Okay, this is getting hot now. I think I almost lost the bar due to this action. But never mind, we're getting there. Oh, this is no heavy resistance. So I think that is as far as you can go comfortably, comfortably, comfortably. You see, I must use all of my body weight. Ah, there we are. Okay, do you see? No. This is like 7 bars, 100 psi. And before that I think I got up to 4 bars or psi. So in conclusion, this pump will save you if you have a flat and you will be able to continue since you get like 4 bars. This is quite good. But if you have to travel long distance, you should try to find a decent pump to top up your pressure after you had to refill it with this one, because I don't think there's a way for your average man or woman to put this up to 100 psi with this pump. Or maybe my measurement is wrong. Uh, what do you think? Did you manage to refill your tire with this to 100% or to 100 psi? Let me know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching.